In this video, I'm going to explain what the kappa value is and how you can calculate it. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Before you watch this video, you should have a good grasp on the topic of reliability. Click on the video in the top right corner to watch our video on that topic first. Precision or interrater reliability is often reported as a kappa statistic. The kappa value can give you a quantitative measure of the agreement in any situation in which two or more independent observers are evaluating the same thing. For example, imagine that two physiotherapists are evaluating the lumbar vertebrae L5 on hypermobility in 100 patients. Physio 1 and Physio 2 agree that patients are hypermobile in 60 cases and not hypermobile in 15 cases. So they would have 75% of agreement and in the other cases they have different opinions. However, if both of them randomly evaluate the patients, they would sometimes agree just by chance. The kappa value takes this chance into account. It is calculated by the agreement that is actually present, called observed agreement right here, compared to how much agreement would be expected by chance, called expected agreement. The expected agreement is calculated with the following formula. What you do is, you multiply the positive answers of Physio 1 with the positive answers of Physio 2, right here. So you have 70 through 100 and 75 through 100 and you multiply those two values with each other and you add them to the negative answers of Physio 1, 30 and the negative answers of Physio 2, 25 which are also divided by 100 and multiplied with each other and then you end up with 0 0.525 plus 0 0.075 so you have an expected agreement of 0.6. Now let's finally calculate our kappa value. What you do is, is that you take your actual outcome, PO, so that's in our case it's 0.75, and you subtract the expected outcome with 0.6 and you divide it through 1 minus the expected outcome. So it's 1 minus 0.6. Then you end up with a kappa value of 0.375. So what does a kappa value of 0.375 mean? According to the commonly used scale, this would mean that the two physios have a fair agreement on which patients are hypermobile and which ones are not. Note that a kappa value of 0 or less means no agreement at all, while a value of 1 means perfect agreement. Alright, this was our video on the Kappa statistic. I hope this explanation was clear for you. If it was, please give it a like and drop a comment down below if you still have any questions and we'll be happy to answer. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and follow us on various social media. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.